The Pokemon trading card game started in Japan in 1996 and was published as base set in the United States in January of 1999 by Wizards of the Coast. Much of the current day demand for a base set centers around collectibles such as the iconic Charizard. Cards from the earliest demo sets distributed by Wizards, known as Shadowless cards, are the most sought after as they were printed before first edition's release. Many of the original mechanics were so successful they've been reprinted for modern play, such as Blastoise with the ability Rain Dance and Mewtwo's Psychic Attack. Some of the most powerful cards in base set are the Trainers. Even though they are much stronger than the trainers printed today, Pokemon has retained iconic mechanics from such cards as Gust of Wind, Computer Search, and Professor Oak. In this series, Swedish Ninja Fish and I will open a booster box, which is 36 packs of one Pokemon set, build a deck using those cards, and have a best of three battle. The winner will be able to upgrade their deck with a random prize. In later episodes, we will each open a box of the next expansion of the Pokemon trading card game to continue upgrading our decks before battling each other again. This is the Pokemon TCG progression series. Welcome into the first episode of the Pokemon TCG progression series. This idea started with YugiTuber Simo's Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series, link in the description. Here we are using the Pokemon Booster Pack Simulator to open our base set booster box as well as the base set card listing on TCG Collector to keep track of which cards we can build our deck with. What's going on guys? I'm Swedish Ninja Fish. Thank you to Frozen for inviting me. Uh, I'm super excited. Uh, we are going to be going through uh roughly over 90 different sets it's gonna be a fun exciting journey uh building on top of our decks as we go i love the nostalgia i love the classic play you know being able to attack on your first turn and playing as many trainers as you want bonkers we are gonna get right into it kind of have an idea of what i'm looking for there are four main decks well, the the fun thing about doing this is that you're not going to be able to build that deck unless you're like hyper lucky not gonna happen <laughs> you get to make you know decks that you can either try and revolve around that or just go go, go completely off the grid don't know we'll see what happens so right off the bat energy removal i love this card choose one energy a card attached to one of your opponent's pokemon and discard it blastoids with rain dance Ooh, double colorless professor oak discard your hand draw seven that's a good hit um the trainers gust of wind good hit energy removal um are always good double colorless energy energy removal is fine obviously we want the super variety if we can gust of wind double colorless and a Gyarados as the rare. It's a good rare hit. Well, we're looking for another Gyarados, a switch. Um, now, of course, the trainers in this set are extremely important. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. We got an evolution chain. Another double colorless energy. Energy retrieval. Um, computer search. Discard two of the other cards from your hand in order to search your deck for any card. Any card. Pokemon, trainer, energy. Any card that you want computer search will do it bill love to see the bills clefairy doll mm -hmm. i love the clefairy doll you place on your bench as a pokemon if your opponent's pokemon attacks it they don't get a prize card it you can just discard it as an automatic retreat we're looking for some direction for our deck build super energy removal as the rare good hit professor Oak, pokemon trader is a decent hit this is a pokemon communication nowadays magikarp for that gyarados Pokemon Breeder. So like you have a Squirtle, but you can't find your War Turtle. You can play that, grab the Blastoise, and just boom. See a War Turtle. I don't need you. Gust of Wind. This one's great. This is uh, Boss's Orders for those who play uh, currently. Uh, oh, Impasta Professor Oak. Love this card. This is the meme card. Uh, this card is great for late game. When, you, uh, when your opponent is very low, close to decking out, and they have... Uh, no cards left in their hand. Just an example. You play Impostor Professor Oak. They are forced to shuffle, but they're forced to draw seven cards. Boom. They just went from 10 to 3. Whoa. Crazy. Super energy removal is a pog. Okay. You discard one energy from your Pokemon, um, and it allows you to discard up to two energy from your rival's Pokemon. The Professor Oak is a pog. They're Pokemon breeder. 
Pokemon Center. Oh, an Alakazam as the rare. That's good. Energy Retrieval is a good card. Bill is just fine. Hopefully, some kind of archetype will show up for our pulls. Oh, a Charizard. Nice. It's definitely not one of the metagame decks or the top four or five decks, but as often as you like during your turn, you may turn all energy attached to Charizard into fire energy for the rest of the turn. Discard two energy cards attached to Charizard in order to use this attack for 100 is a good amount of damage. As I was inputting my packs, I did realize I, I glossed over an Electabuzz, which is extremely powerful. Pack 10 here, Venusaur. We're really looking to see which direction our rares take us. Alakazam, that's multiple Alakazam now. A Pokemon Trader is the rare, nice, very good hit. Ooh, or it's our first Chansey. Chansey's really relevant as kind of a stall. And a Professor Oaks with a revive. Um, wow, that's a really good pack. Hmm, okay. I like to see it. Electrode and Kadabra. Electrode, so Electrode has the ability called Buzz Zap. So this is really cool. Um, basically, it knocks out the Electrode, but Electro turns into a double rainbow energy. It's insane. It's cool. Uh, if someone uses energy removal and they remove the Electrode, it removes both of them. Uh, double, another double colorless, a Blastoise, a Kadabra, Pokemon Center, a a Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd is interesting. Another Chansey, love to see it. Another double colorless, okay? We got a Gyarados. Ooh, Bazap Electrode, good. Machoke Defender and Revive. Another Raichu, second Raichu. First Growlithe, a good Farfetch'd. Switch, Imposter Oak. Um, actually, something that we need to think about. You can mill your opponent with this and just kind of kill them. Ooh, a second Chansey. First Super Potion, first Haunter. Final Switch. Ooh, a third Pokemon Trader Rare. Very good. Makes running Evolutions decks not as painful. Another Venusaur. Ooh, our first Mewtwo. Our first Pokemon Center. That's going to be clutch if we do go with this Alakazam strategy. Yes, another Chansey. Ooh, Hitmonchan. Huge hit. Wow, that's awesome. So we only got six packs left. Oh, there we go. That's something I feel good about. Last. Double colorless. Not really getting what I was hoping for here i mean gyarados is great a couple blastoids the last but we're just not getting what i want the last pack let's see if we can't get something juicy magneton machoke wow what a choke if that was a machamp in a machoke we would be popping but we're not we really needed more magic are we were running low Gyarados, nice. Oh, we really need another Magikarp. Oh my gosh. Really need another Magikarp. Never thought I'd be asking. Come on, Magikarp. <laughs> oh, we got another Oaks and another Trader. Oh, it's our fourth Trader. Nice, we filled out the set. That's going to be really good going forward. Carrying these draws over to the next format. Um, wow, that Trader is going to be insane. Come on, Magikarp. We got a Bill, which is good. All right, 32. Four more after this. No magic card. Electabuzz is a rare good hit. And another bill. I think that fills out our play set of bill. It does. 33. Only a few more left. Oh, Blastoise. That's a big hit. Energy retrieval. Sweet card. That is our fourth one. Very nice. 34. Last, awesome, that's a huge hit. Last is a staple basically in every deck when it's opportune for you not to have trainers, it's likely not opportune for your opponent not to have trainers. So last is a huge rare and we got an Oak as our uncommon. That fills out a Professor Oak slot, awesome. Okay, second to last pack. We still only have two Magikarp with our three Gyarados. Computer Search and a Magikarp with an Oak. That is huge. Wow, that is an insane pack. So this computer search is a rare. You play a lot of them eventually. Um, it, usually you don't play four. It's a lot of cards to discard, and sometimes these matches come down to milling. Uh, we already have our four oak, but that magic card gives us a 3-3 three, three Gyarados line. We have one pack left. We are pretty set in stone in playing the Alakazam Chansey Gyarados deck. All right, let's move to our last pack. Here we go. Full picks. Dragonair, second Dragonair, second Defender. Not not super good. Our, our last pack was not as good as our 35th pack, but we'll take it. What's going on, everybody? Suya Shinja Fish back with a poll review. I just checked with Frozen, and we are not doing any playtesting with our decks. I am kind of uh, nervous, um, but excited. Let's get right into it. Uh, two Blastoids, three Chanseys, 
electrode um and i'm just pointing out cards that kind of speak to me out of all of these electabuzz but there isn't really any good combo cards that i pulled this Dugon kind of looking interesting. Um, so we'll get into the trainers. So three Clefairy dolls. I love, 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 love Clefairy dolls. Um, we got one computer search, one imposter uh, oak. Um, we got three item finders, which is great. We got one last, which is also beautiful. Uh, three Pokemon breeders, uh, one Pokemon trader, a couple scoop ups, uh, one super energy. First, we got a full hand of centers, uh, three oaks, more than a full hand of bills, full hand of energy removals, gust of wind, and switches, of course. Uh, we got five double uh, colorless energy. My overall thoughts of the pick, um, I'm not like down in the dumps about it. Um, you know, I'm not super fantastically excited about it. Um, kind of right in the middle. Um, I would say it was, it was an average pull. Um, I think there's really only just one card that I would would have wanted additional um, to for me to say that this was a, a good pull and that would have been a second Gyarados. You know, I, I think overall it was it was all right. Um, you know, a three out of five if you're doing it out of five. And the main reason I'm doing that is uh, Frozen already did his and he's already talking up his deck. You know, I don't know if he's blowing smoke. We'll see. Um, but uh, you know, he is a really good player and uh, I definitely take that into consideration. So thankful with what I got and we'll go from there. That's kind of my plan is I think I'm gonna go with a Water Blastoise. Um, I'm gonna do some messing around with the builder in particular and it's just coming right around the corner. We'll see you in a few. Um, it is time to reveal my deck. On the left is the deck that I'm going with. Uh, we'll go through each card. Uh, three Squirtle, two Blastoise, one War Turtle. This is gonna be a variation of the rain dance deck blastoids basically allows you to attach water energy from your hand to uh any water type pokemon chancy tank i'm playing i got one gyarados with two carps gets resistant to fighting and he's not weak against electric uh seal and dugon uh and i'm just comparing it to gyarados so 20 hp less sure but aura beam does 50 just like dragon rage still three energy right and then ice beam has a chance of paralysis at 30. um so you know bubble beam is better for paralysis but the 50 is where i'm at um we're just doing one war turtle because we are playing three pokemon breeders if for some reason pokemon breeder doesn't come up that's what that one war turtle is for we are playing Pokemon Trader. It's just the one that we have. Um, we are playing one of the lasses. Um, we are playing two of these item finders. I'm semi going off of the list that was available for Rain uh, Dance. I was thinking of doing one scoop up and two switches, but I'm doing three switches just because if Frozen has any Gust of Winds, any Gust of Winds my Blastoise to try and get rid of them, uh, the switch will be nice just to get them back. Hopefully they survive. Playing four bills, uh, three professors, three super potions, energy removals, four of them. I would play more of the super energy removal, but I only have one. All four energy retrievals, Clefairy doll, the Impasta maintenance, computer search. I only have one. I wish I had more. We are doing 12 energy. It's gonna be a lot of luck of the draw. This is definitely going to be my secret weapon is what I'm going to say here because I got nothing else. <laughs> um, that's that's it. That's that's the deck. Wish me luck. <laughs> we will see you in the series. Look at what we ended up with. It's easier to start with our rares to kind of get a direction of which way we can build the deck. Like we were talking about, two Alakazams, one Blastoise, three Chansey, one Charizard, three Gyarados, one Hitmonchan, one Mewtwo, one Nidoking, two Raichu, two Venusaur as our hollow rares, two Beedrill, two Dragonair, two Electabuzz, one Electrode, and no Pidgeotos for our rares. We also missed on Polyrath, Zapdos, Ninetales, Magneton, Machamp, Clefairy, 
So, wow, that was a lot. Definitely tells you what directions we're not going to be able to take in the future. We are looking to pair Alakazam probably with Gyarados. 100 HP is a lot unless they happen to be playing grass. Um, we should be able to survive any one punch. Um, yes, so I think that's the way we're going to end up going. Alakazam, Chansey, Gyarados. Huge hits in computer search and our last and our oak just an amazing play set of pokemon traders that's going to make any of our decks just more consistent it's going to make me feel better about playing stage two decks because we have to chain the basic into the one into the, th the two um, no pokemon breeders so no fast evolutions for us or skipping certain evolution lines no scoop ups so we're running into some problems there but that's okay uh, maintenance shuffle two of the cards into your from your hand into your deck and then draw a card this can save you from decking out this can fix your card selection so it's a very interesting card full play set of oaks for a draw engine for the entirety of the series uh, pokemon center only one we would love to have another one but even the competitive version of alakazam really only plays two or three of these so one is better than none for sure play set of bills will definitely make it into the deck double colorless energy will probably play the one um, just to make retreating a little bit easier but only getting the one double colorless as an uncommon is a huge hindrance today that's probably the biggest bummer out of everything we're really fortunate here we were able to find some direction with our deck list very viable deck we'll see where this takes us and we'll come back uh, once i've got my deck together we did end up on the alakazam chancy gyarados deck that we talked about where we plan to tank it out with this high hp pokemon utilizing the pokemon ability damage swap to move damage counters around when the damage counters are not on a pokemon with energy we can use pokemon center to heal that pokemon we also included one blastoise so we're playing a two squirtle two war turtle one blastoise line as we just pulled the one blastoise to try and pull this off a little bit more consistently and maybe even have another attacker um, with a different weakness so all of our Pokemon, Chansey, Blastoise, and Gyarados have different weaknesses, which is good to round out the strategy, but we don't really take advantage of our opponent's weaknesses, and that's a problem with our deck. Um, we are playing an absurd amount of energy, 16 water, and this is the one double we pulled. Helps us retreat, helps us use Chansey better. Um, but yeah, we need to be consistent, and we're in this one for the long haul. We're not winning the quick game. We are an absurd setup deck. As such, we're not playing a lot of disruption, um, we are playing one oak and one lass as disruption. So the imposter oak will let us maybe basically mill him for seven cards um, to see if we can get Swedish to deck out. Lass is a must in most of these decks. If we've already played our hand down, it behooves us then to play lass and kind of take the aggressive stance then once we're set up. Four Pokemon Trader will help us set up the amazing amount of Pokemon we're playing in this deck. Four Energy Retrieval will help us get through the slog of disruption. I'm sure that Swedish is playing. One Pokemon Center again for that healing combo. We are playing three of each trainer supporter. Even though we did pull two play sets, um, the competitive version of this deck actually just plays like three or four Oak anyway, so we are a little bit faster than them. We don't play Pokemon Breeder to uh, skip evolutions or anything though, so we have to make sure that we draw both our stage one and our stage two, and then to round it out, three switch just to get around the board. Um, yeah, I, I think we have decent odds to pull off our strategy, really wall it out and consistently get up there with a Gyarados that's going to drag and rage all day. Um, we just have to hope we don't hit bad weaknesses and that uh, just Fish isn't super fast. If he's faster than us and has a bunch of gusts in the deck, if he really is playing something like Haymaker, um, we might have trouble with that matchup. So let's see how this goes and let's get right into the first set of games. How did you feel about the draft overall? Um, average, average, not super great, not super crappy, just average. My draft felt uh, like a roller coaster, super strong in some areas, but missing some cards. Sure. Like one or two cards that are key, um, it might make my strategy pretty inconsistent. All right, that's enough waiting around. <laughs> Let's get into the battles. Ooh. You saying that just gets me all jitters. Yeah. Um, good luck. I'm excited. Uh, I've been looking forward to this all week, um, and yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Oh, what? That's not what I was expecting. Oh, I was not. I thought, based on the crap you were talking, that you got Haymaker. I. Oh no way. All right. Yeah. No, actually, I was. I was. I was pretty I close. It. Yeah. I didn't want to risk it with uh, only three of the total attackers for Haymaker. Oh, man. All right. I'll draw a card. 
attached to Magikarp. And uh, <laughs> put down Kadabra with Pokemon Trader. You got the Alakazammy, didn't you? Yeah, play that Abra down. Carps in the actives. Um, I am going to Bill and Bill again. Attach a Water Energy to Zakarp. Um, I am going to do energy removal. Oh, of course. Heart. No. Going to tackle. I'll draw and evolve Ooh. into Gyarados. The boots. <laughs> I'll play an energy retrieval for the water that you removed, attach it to Gyarados, and then discard my hand to draw a seven with Oak. All the cards. Mm -hmm. I'll play the Chansey and oh, then. The tank. Oh, God. A second carp and pass it. Oh, you have two Gyarados, don't you? Yeah. Um, I lay down a Clefairy doll. I'm going to evolve into Gyarados, attach the water energy, and I am also going to All right, I'll uh, attach to Gyarados and pass. Um, I am going to energy attach and Dragon Rage for 50. Well, I didn't see very much off the Oaks. Um, I'll switch to Chansey and attach to Gyarados. Go ahead. Um, I am going to play Maintenance. Shuffle two cards into my deck. I don't know if it shows you the cards. It doesn't. Okay, I wasn't sure if it showed you, so I don't want to say them out loud. We will go ahead and slap with Dragon Rage. Okay. <laughs> Water on the new carp and say go. Okay. I am going to slap with Dragon Rage. Uh, go. Okay. Put a Squirtle um, onto my bench. Put another Clefairy doll onto my bench. Slap with Dragon Rage for a prize. Yep. Gosh, do I promote the Gyarados? It's damaged, but I, I could just start flipping for paralysis. I don't know. Let's go Squirtle. We'll attach a water and flip for paralysis anyway using Bubble. Tails. Um, I'll be using Pokemon Breeder to evolve into Blastoise. I will be attaching water energy. You know, I'm going to Dragon Rage for the nut and grab a prize. Uh, well, now I have to promote Gyarados. Uh, I did get access to one energy with the retrieval. Um, I'll attach water to Gyarados, play a Pokemon Trader, and putting down a Squirtle and grabbing a Kadabra. Gotcha. All right. And evolve. Okay, Bubble Beam. Tails okay. again. I am going to rain dance onto the Blastoise. Okay. I am going to Dragon Rage for the knock. Well, I need more than just Alakazam here. I'll promote the Magikarp. I'll attach to Kadabra for retreating later and um, I'm going to rain dance twice onto the Blastoise. Dragon Rage for a knock. Well, I'm technically not dead. Um, oh, I drew an oak. Uh, first off, I'll energy retrieval and attach that energy to Kadabra, and then I'll oak for seven. Um, I didn't get there, but I have a lass and a dream. Ooh. Okay. All right. Uh, then I probably have one turn to live. I'll pass. Okay, I'm going to lay it down, Shancy the Tank. Okay. And Dragon Rage for the Knock. Okay, when I draw. Uh, nope, that's good game. Good game, good game. Alright, here's hoping for a better game, too. Good luck, trainer. Alright, I will. Play a bill to start, attach to Squirtle, and pass. Feels like a better start for me. Um, I'm going to attach an energy also to Squirtle, hit bubble. All right. Paralyze. 
I will evolve the War Turtle, and I need to switch now in case of last, and then promote War Turtle with another energy and pass. Uh, withdraw uh, Tails. I'm going to energy removal. But on the again, table. play a bill. I'm going to play a seal. Um, attach an energy to that seal. Okay. And bubble. Oh, Tails not paralyzed. Um, I'll attach to active and uh, Tails again. Okay, and I'm going to evolve the seal into Dugan. And a bubble. Wow, with with paralysis? Just I just need time to survive. <laughs> I'll bench Magikarp and pass. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do water energy to the Dugon and bubble. Alright, I guess um I get to knock you out now. I'll evolve to Gyarados and attack with bite. Maybe I, I can push a game three. Maybe I can get a game three. I am going to energy retrieval um, by discarding an energy retrieval, gathering a water energy, mm. attaching it to the Dugon, and Aurora Beam for the knock. Okay, I'm going to promote Chansey, evolve Kadabra, and attach to Gyarados. Go. Um, I am going to put magic harp on my bench, put an energy on the magic harp. Okay, decent draw. I'm gonna attach to Gyarados and pass. Or a B. Okay, now I need Alakazam. Well, double colorless will kind of do. Um, I'll use that to try and scrunch. And tails. Um, I'm going to Clefairy Doll, follow the magic part into Gyarados. I'm going to or beam for the knock. All right, I'll promote Gyarados. Um, we're ready to attack now. Bench a Chansey and hit. Um, I'm and go. going to bill or two. I'm going to attach an energy to the Dugon. Okay. I'm going to use Super Potion. What on the Super Dugan, Potion? Uh, discarding one energy. Oh man. Or a beam. Now I'm really losing the race for damage. Um, Magikarp. And I think I have to retreat into Chansey until I get Alakazam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Going to energy, energy retrieval, discarding a war portal. Going to attach it to the Gyarados. Okay. And I will or Awesome. Um, I'll play Oak off the top. Uh, Pokemon Trader away this Magikarp for my Alakazam. It's pretty good. The Zam. Yeah, I'm gonna attach to Gyarados next, and then uh, we'll Bill and Imposter Oak you. <laughs> Taking one from the book. Yeah, I hope I got you off what you were holding on to there. Um, I'm gonna damage swap next to get all of my Pokemon out of knockout range. Um, I think I'll leave it like this and say go. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm going to item finder and discard a magic carp and a seal. Energy retrieval. Um, I'm going to attach an energy to the fairy dose. Okay. I'm going to play down another fairy doll. Play down a squirtle and four of me. Okay, I'm going to attach to my Gyarados and then uh, we're going to Oaks again. Uh, well, I've got plenty of HP to add to the board now. I'll evolve into Gyarados and bench this Abra and then damage swap like this and um, go ahead. Or a beam. Okay, attach water, damage swap, and catch it on this full damage, Chansey, and go. Okay, and Aura Beam for the knock. Alright, I'll have to promote my loaded Gyarados, attach the fourth water energy now, move off the damage counters, and use Bubble Beam. Okay. All right, my Going first heads. Come on, breeder, my squirtle into a blastoise. Use okay. a switch to switch into Gyarados. Oh shoot! I'm going to attach an energy to the Dugon and use a super potion. Another on super the potion. Dugon. Okay. And attack with. 
Dragon Rage. Okay, um, I'm gonna start with Pokemon Trader to find another target for damage swap. Putting down Abra and grabbing Chansey will damage swap to this new Chansey. Um, then attach to the bench Gyarados and Bubble Beam here. And another heads, awesome. Okay. Good job on the heads. I uh, can't do anything in my turn. All right, it looks like I might have a chance. Let's play another trader, put down Squirtle, and grab another Carp. I'll retrieval two water energy back and attach them to the benched Gidos. Uh, let's swap some damage and Bubble Beam again. Okay. <laughs> Tails. I am going to Dragon Rage. <laughs> I, I think I can wait one more turn to damage, so let's damage swap. Uh, attach to the bench and KO with Dragon Rage. <laughs> okay, I'm going to promote the Dugon. Energy Retrieval. Okay. Starting. A Blastoise, Cute energy, or a beam. I'm gonna get greedy and continue waiting. Uh, damage swap, fourth energy on the bench to Gyarados, and go for this flip here. I'm uh, going another to tails. attach an energy to you do gone and use Super Potion. A third one, okay. And other Super beam. Potion. Well, um, I need to get more value to come back, so swap damage, and we'll bubble beam again. I'm going to attach a water energy to a blasters. Computer search. Discarding <sighs> two cards for a Professor Oak. I'm going to okay. be playing the Oak. Big turn. The impostering. Really? Game. No. Why? Okay. And I will be using Rain Dance to power up my Blastoise. And using a Professor's. Another one. Energy removal. Wait, really? On your active Gyarados twice. Twice. What? Aura Beam. Uh, man, that was a crazy turn. Um, I probably waited too long. Poke Trader, let's grab the thin Gyarados we put down. Evolve the third Magic Carp here. Uh, attach the active, and let's damage swap this way. And go for the KO. Got a Clefairy Doll in the active. I'll be putting a Water Energy on the Blastoise. Mm -hmm. And ending my turn. Okay, I will knock out the doll. Another Clefairy doll, give a Squirtle, and I end my turn. Okay, I'll play a Switch. I've already waited too long, and I need to go all in on one Gyarados. Let's damage swap and Pokemon Center. KO the doll. Don't worry, I just have a Squirtle, <laughs> and I will item finder, discarding uh -huh. two bills. For Impasta Tree. Oh, oh God. Play the Impasta Tree, so you have one that, card in your hand. The cat kills and me. And because you didn't want to cry, I'm going to make you cry with a Super Energy Removal, discarding two energies, <laughs> attaching my own energy to the Blastoise, and ending my turn. All right, well, that's good game. I can't take prizes in time before decking out. Go ahead. I end my turn. G G. Oh, the adrenaline is in my hand. My heart is pounding. G <laughs> G, dude. That was that was so much fun. Yeah. What were your prizes? Um, mine must have been a maintenance. I think for mine. And uh, energy retrieval, I think. I think mine were mainly energies. Um, did you get three Gyarados, by the way? Yeah, yeah, I did. Wow, the pulls, man. Wow. <laughs> I had that one Gyarados. Oh, I got. and saw it both games. Yes. <laughs> wow, okay. What'd you think about that Dugong? 
Uh, I thought it was a really solid replacement for Gyarados, actually. Uh, I think I probably should have played it myself. All right, folks, this is the wheel. Um, we got our packs. Uh, any wild card, um, common, uncommon, and rares. So uh, let's see what happens, huh? I'm gonna rub the hands for luck, like rolling some dice. Let's see what happens. Ooh, okay, okay, uncommon, interesting. I think what we'll be looking at is trainers. The thing that was lacking really was just a fourth Professor Oaks. Oh man, I wish it was a pack opening or that rare because that would have been an easy choice. We will go with that. Wow, congrats to Swedish on winning the base set episode. It's nearly a week later as I wrap up editing and I still feel like a pile of salt. There's plenty of time for me as we continue on into the sunset of our Pokemon journey across each expansion. Subscribe to continue on this journey with us and share this with your Pokemon loving friends. Like this format? Why don't you give it a try? All of the resources are down in the description, including a link to my Discord where our community are drafting decks themselves and battling each other. Swedish and I are there most times to answer any questions or take on challengers. Don't forget, I stream at least four times a week a range of Pokemon and trading card game content at twitch.tv forward slash frozen dookie. We'll see you next time in the jungle.